Hello, my name is Smith, and today we have wonderful news for Canadian seniors arriving just in time for Thanksgiving. We'll address a major Canada pension plan payment increase, how it will affect low-income seniors, and how to enjoy Thanksgiving on fixed means. Thanksgiving is a time to rejoice and be grateful. The timely CPP rise gives seniors more cause to be grateful this year. It shows they're cherished and their well-being is important. We should continue to advocate for policies and services that support our aged as we celebrate this major increase in CPP benefits and its positive impact on low-income seniors. Financial security is a right and we must support our seniors. Many low-income Canadian seniors depend on the Canada Pension Plan. The government is increasing senior support by $1,760 to ensure they have the financial resources they need. The rise addresses the rising cost of living, which has worried many older Canadians. Low-income seniors see this increase as more than a statistic. Their quality of life improves significantly. It implies financial security, less concern about daily spending, and greater holiday peace of mind. Other services for low-income seniors should be highlighted beyond the CPP increase. Many provinces provide housing aid, subsidized health care, and transit reductions. Community feeding programs, social activities, and mental health supports are available to seniors. These services help elders stay active and improve their quality of life. Active and supported in their communities. Senior-focused financial literacy workshops are also helpful. These programs help budget, manage pensions, and maximize benefits. Financial education can help seniors manage their finances and make smarter decisions to improve their financial stability. Let's begin. First, the Canadian government has announced a large CPPP payment increase. Starting tomorrow, qualifying seniors will receive $1,760. This large amount is intended to help low-income senior people cope with rising living costs. Break this down. $1,760 is an increase, not a one-time payment. Effectively, qualifying seniors will earn $146.67 more every month. Seniors receive regular CPP benefits in addition to this boost. Put this in context with some numbers. Before this adjustment, the maximum CPP retirement pension at 65 was $1,203.75 per month. Those receiving the highest amount could receive $1,350.42 per month with this increment. Remember that not everyone obtains the maximum raise and the real rise depends on individual circumstances. Why the increase in now? Several factors are involved. Inflation must be addressed first. Prices have risen significantly in the past year, affecting everything from groceries to housing. These growing prices have struck fixed income seniors hardest. Second, Canada's aging population's challenges are becoming more apparent. As society aged, we must ensure elderly may live comfortably. Finally, this boost supports the government's goal of reducing older Canadian poverty. It's part of a larger plan to help seniors age with dignity. But what does this mean practically? How would $1,760 a year affect low-income seniors? Explore that next. Imagine being a fixed-income senior. Every dollar counts and you're always making tough decisions about your limited resources. Now you get $146.67 each month more. It may seem insignificant, but for many it can make a big impact. This boost could mean affording healthier food or not skipping meals to make ends meet. It may pay for medications without sacrificing other necessities. It may mean keeping the heat on in chilly Canadian winters without worrying about the cost. Extra income could go toward public transit or a car to keep mobile and independent. It could help with rent or mortgage payments in a safer or more pleasant home. This boost may also allow seniors to spend more on social outings, reducing isolation. It may reduce financial stress by providing a small emergency fund. Personal care services like haircuts and fresh clothes may be used which might damage self-esteem and health. Small house repairs or improvements to make their home safer and more comfortable could be funded. It may involve buying a basic smartphone or internet connection to stay in touch with family and get essential information. Though tiny, these can greatly improve quality of life for many elderly. It's about dignity, independence, and peace of mind, not simply money. Let's discuss how this rise may affect many families Thanksgiving. Income rise couldn't have come at a better time with the holiday approaching. Some ways the CPPP rise may affect Thanksgiving seniors can buy better food for holiday dinners. This could mean buying a nicer turkey, an extra side dish, or that special item they've been admiring but couldn't justify. Visits to long lost family may now be possible. The additional money could buy gas for a long drive or a bus or rail ticket to see family. Grandparents may have more money for gifts. 
Many families give small gifts on Thanksgiving, even if it's not expected. This extra money could help elders host relatives again after being unable to do to budgetary restrictions. A few more dollars could go into basic Thanksgiving decorations. Seniors may donate some of their increase to a food bank or charity. The extra money could cover a Thanksgiving trip to a harvest festival or community function. Seniors could establish new Thanksgiving traditions like taking the family to a movie or getting a unique dessert from a local bakery with more financial flexibility. Remember that while this growth is large. Many seniors will remain low income. Let's discuss budget-friendly Thanksgiving celebrations. Thanksgiving advice for a budget-friendly celebration. Consider a potluck. Instead of one individual paying for the meal, have family members bring dishes. This spreads the cost and lets everyone offer their talents. Keep it simple. Thanksgiving should be about gratitude and community, not luxury. Simple, hearty meals can satisfy as much as extravagant ones. Use seasonal produce. Fall vegetables like squash, sweet potatoes, and carrots are cheap and tasty. Plan your menu around seasonal and economical ingredients. Look for deals. Many grocery retailers offer offers on Thanksgiving staples in the weeks before Thanksgiving. Utilize these savings in advance. Consider turkey substitutes. If turkey is too expensive, try roast chicken, which is excellent and cheaper. Use pine cones, leaves, and branches to make imaginative decorations. This can be fun with grandchildren. Think about experiences. A family walk after dinner, a board game tournament, or exchanging recollections are inexpensive ways to bring people together. Volunteer in a soup kitchen or food bank for part of the day. This can help you appreciate and acquire perspective. Include family members who can't travel in the celebration with a video call. Leftover based dishes for the days after Thanksgiving will extend your food budget. These tips can help anyone have a warm, memorable Thanksgiving without overspending, regardless of the CPP hike. Let's discuss the CPP increases key features. It's excellent news, but you must see the big picture. Note these important points. Few seniors will get the whole $1,760 raise. Their pension amount relies on their CPP contributions during their working years and when they started receiving it. Remember, CPP payments are taxed. Seniors should be informed that this increase may affect their taxes. Low-income seniors receiving guaranteed income supplement GI should understand how the CPP increase may affect their payments. GS may decrease when CPP rises. Provinces may have distinct CPPP interacting schemes. Seniors should consider how this hike may influence provincial benefits. This rise is impressive, but growing inflation should be considered. The rise in goods and services prices, prices may offset some of the benefits. This raise helps, but it doesn't address low-income seniors' financial problems. Canada needs more activism and policies to combat senior poverty. Every senior's finances are different. To understand how this increase will affect you, talk to a financial advisor or benefits professional. Most eligible seniors receive this rise automatically, but check with Service Canada to be sure all information is current. CPPs are evaluated and changed often. Staying updated about possible benefits changes is important for seniors. Many organizations and services aid elders with benefits and finances. Request aid if needed. Understanding these principles might help seniors maximize this increase in plan. Let's discuss other options and support services for low-income Canadian seniors. Senior programs and services are available in Canada. OAS are monthly payments for seniors 65 and older who meet Canadian legal status and residence requirements. OS pension pensioners with modest incomes in Canada receive a monthly non-taxable guaranteed income supplement GIs. Low-income wives or common-law partners of GS beneficiaries or their spouses or common-law partners who have died receive the allowance and allowance for the survivor. Many provinces and territories offer senior benefits. Examples include prescription medicine coverage, housing perks, more. Senior veterans may receive additional services from Veterans Affairs Canada. Seniors might benefit from Canada Revenue Agency tax credits and deductions including the age, pension income, and disability tax credits. Service Canada is the main federal government contact and may give benefits and program information. Senior centers provide events, activities, and resources for older individuals in many towns. Meals on Wheels delivers meals to seniors who struggle to cook. Many localities offer free or low-cost legal services for elders with elder abuse, housing, or benefit conflicts. These resources can help beyond the CPP increase. All seniors and their families should consider these choices to discover what works for them. Let's discuss how the CPP rise affects our communities. There are apparent benefits for elders, but there are also wider ramifications. Seniors spend more locally when they have greater spare cash. This can boost local companies and the economy. Better meeting elders' fundamental needs may lessen demand on social services, 
allowing resources to be targeted where they're required. More income may help seniors afford healthier diet and medical care. It may improve health and lower health care expenses. Extra finances may allow elders to participate more in community events, strengthening social bonds and reducing isolation. Seniors may utilize their extra money to aid their grandchildren with school. Higher income seniors may be able to stay in their houses longer or afford repairs. Affecting local housing markets, seniors with less financial stress may spend more locally.